Imagine a future where Neuralink's groundbreaking technology becomes a powerful asset for Tesla. These two visionary companies may have separate missions, Tesla focused on energy and electric cars, and Neuralink aiming to ultimately merge human and digital superintelligence, but their paths could eventually converge in unexpected ways. While the insane goal of downloading our brains into the cloud or into Tesla Optimus robots feels like the stuff of science fiction, although it would be the real true partnership between Neuralink and Tesla, it's still a ways out and could be years or decades away, but there are some aspects that might be closer than we think. The real excitement is already starting to unfold and actually seems to be happening right now. Just recently, two individuals have already received Neuralink implants and they're beginning to experience superhuman capabilities. While Neuralink is still in its early stages, the implications are staggering. This opens up a fascinating door for Tesla as these advancements could soon be harnessed to revolutionize how the company operates, potentially supercharging its workforce with unprecedented cognitive and physical abilities. The synergy between Tesla's innovations and Neuralink's cutting-edge technology could redefine the boundaries of human potential and industrial productivity. The possibilities are limitless and the future might be arriving faster than anyone expects. Neuralink is a technology company led by Elon Musk and was started in 2016. The company is developing implantable brain-machine interfaces designed to connect the human brain directly to computers. The current goal of Neuralink is to create a generalized brain interface that can help restore autonomy to individuals with unmet medical needs, such as those with neurological disorders or spinal cord injuries. The device, known as the Link, is a coin-sized implant that can record, stimulate, and reproduce the electrical activity of neurons in the brain. This technology has already spawned multiple products within Neuralink that have crazy futuristic potential. Neuralink telepathy, for example, has already gone into the first two patients. It could theoretically allow for direct brain-to-brain -brain communication, what some may call telepathy, by reading thoughts and feelings or commands from one brain and transmitting it to another, bypassing traditional verbal and written techniques. But this is a long-term goal. Along the way, Neuralink is becoming a sustainable business by using its chip's potential to treat various medical conditions and even enhance human cognitive abilities. Applications include treating neurological disorders like Parkinson's disease and epilepsy, restoring movement and sensation for individuals with spinal cord injuries, and creating advanced sensory prosthetics for amputees. One of Neuralink's upcoming products is called Blindsight and would be a major breakthrough in helping blind people see again by transmitting data from sensors, like a camera, directly to the brain's visual cortex and bypassing damaged optical pathways. Additionally, Neuralink's technology could enhance cognitive functions such as memory and learning and enable direct brain-computer communication. Beyond medical uses, Neuralink's device could significantly advance neuroscience research by providing detailed neural data and insights into the brain's function and giving us a better understanding of how it works. In January 2024, Neuralink's first human patient, Nolan Arbo, who's a quadriplegic, received the world's first Neuralink brain-computer interface. The implant, named Eve, has allowed him to regain digital autonomy after a spinal cord injury left him paralyzed from the shoulders down. Nolan has used the device to control a computer cursor with his thoughts, enabling him to perform various digital tasks. He's played several video games using the Neuralink implant, including chess, Civilization VI, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Slay the Spire, and Old School RuneScape. These activities demonstrate the implant's capability to translate his thoughts into precise digital actions at the speed of an average human, if not better. And both he and Neuralink can continuously improve together. In terms of tests and abilities, Nolan has shown remarkable progress. He set a new world record for human brain-machine cursor control at 4.6 bits per second during his first research session 
and later received 8 bits per second, almost doubling his score. This level of control is approaching the performance of Neuralink engineers using a mouse, who average around 10 bits per second, but he's doing it with his mind. Additionally, Nolan has used the implant to start learning new languages, such as French and Japanese, and to relearn math, showcasing the device's potential for cognitive enhancement. Neuralink also recently gave an update about Alex, the second participant in Neuralink's prime study, who received his implant, marking a pivotal moment for the company's technology. Just a day after surgery, Alex was controlling a computer cursor with his mind in under five minutes. Within hours, he surpassed previous world records for brain-computer interface control, following in the footsteps of the first participant, Nolan. With his Neuralink implant, Alex has quickly advanced beyond what traditional assistive technologies could offer. He's beginning to study how to use computer-aided design, or CAD, software to create 3D objects, a skill he had difficulty developing after a spinal cord injury. Neuralink stated, On day two of using the link, Alex used the CAD software Fusion 360 for the first time and managed to design a custom mount for his Neuralink charger, which was then 3D printed and integrated into his setup. He's also using the implant to play video games like Counter-Strike 2 with a precision and speed that outpaces conventional methods. This isn't just incremental progress. Neuralink's technology is unlocking capabilities that could verge on superhuman over time, allowing people to control digital interfaces with unmatched accuracy and speed. Alex, for example, now has the ability to design and interact with technology at a whole new level, something he wasn't able to do before as his condition was hindering his progress. But no one can do what he's now capable of with the link, showing just how profound Neuralink's impact could be on human productivity and digital interaction. Now imagine Tesla being a company full of engineers, tens of thousands of them, and the company needs to move fast. Its speed is one of the reasons it has surpassed legacy automakers and EVs, and continues to stay ahead of the ruthless competition. Elon Musk has said that Tesla moves twice as fast as everyone else by having everyone work 80 hours a week instead of 40 just to push forward. But there are only so many hours in a day. What if Neuralink could increase this speed, or rather productivity, without taking up any more time at all? Neuralink is still in very early stages with just two patients so far, and the company is essentially still trying to prove out its technology and to improve it along the way. For instance, Nolan's link device saw some retraction in the threads from the brain leading to less effective electrodes. Neuralink modified their algorithm with an over-the-air update, over-the-brain update, and made it more sensitive to signals from the brain and enhanced their user interface. So they were able to fix this for Nolan, and they also made subsequent optimizations for future implants, such as in Alex's case, to prevent this from happening again. Eventually, they'll have ironed out almost all of the issues and be able to solidify the safety profile and scale this dramatically. But it would be interesting if Tesla engineers began getting Neuralink at some point. With continual improvement on the Neuralink hardware and software, similar actually to the incremental improvements the vehicles themselves have received over the past years, suddenly they can work faster, collaborate more easily, they don't even need to share brainwaves or do anything crazy futuristic. We still have screens and monitors to show people what we're thinking. This can happen today. In the same way that Alex was able to show off his CAD design skills to manipulate 3D objects with the brain instead of with a mouse, could convey ideas faster and show what the engineers are thinking. Currently, the functionality is centered around mouse clicks, which is still very powerful because we control almost everything on a computer with a pointer such as a mouse. And even with this basic functionality, a skilled engineer may be able to save time communicating with others. If anything, as we're seeing with Nolan and Alex, Neuralink may actually be creating or enabling the creation of more engineers, which is right up Tesla's alley and many other companies as well who need more engineers. If Neuralink drastically speeds up learning and design, mathematics and science, this could take the study of engineering to a whole new level. And that's with the technology that Neuralink essentially has today. Perhaps even in the near future, they'll have the ability to think instead of type. That just means accessing tools and the internet faster. 
or having an extra database in your head, or being able to query the internet for anything on the fly, which is just more convenient than having to get a computer to type it in or pull out a phone to do the same. There already exists AI for helping to code or make suggestions or to summarize content. What if these commands are controlled rapidly by the brain for the sole purpose of increasing productivity? So a Tesla engineer who codes and uses 3D models to design new vehicles or new parts or components could eventually have XAI's Grok built into their brain, which is extremely powerful. Imagine the company Tesla being full of engineers with no Neuralinks versus a Tesla with all the same engineers, but who have and have trained on Neuralink for say a few months. There's a large advantage here. Suddenly there's a massive gain in speed, which would allow Tesla to move even faster. A true hive mind could exist within the company, where simple communication between engineers who aren't even in the same room can occur without stopping that task you're working on to look away, to get your phone or open up your mail. And this can happen much sooner than people think, using the current version of Neuralink hardware along with software updates to enable high-speed access to the tools and AI tools we already have today, as opposed to having to wait until we can download our full brains into a humanoid robot. That just doesn't need to happen for Neuralink to be immensely useful. So it's an interesting concept that may seem futuristic, but perhaps Elon Musk is already thinking about how to get even more bang for his buck from his existing companies and employees. It would be almost like upgrading the software version of the entire company by giving everyone a brain boost. Tesla already has loads of custom software that they give to their workers internally as they generally don't use off-the-shelf software. Neuralink can be an optional upgrade and could play a role in integrating directly with this software to make each employee better at their jobs with the tools they need right at their neuron tips. Already, both Noland and Alex have an interest in technology that's now being seriously enabled by Neuralink, and so the product has helped to potentially create new engineers, which Tesla and other Elon companies can't get enough of. So how do you think Neuralink's brain-computer interface could transform Tesla's approach to engineering and innovation? How might this accelerate product development and problem solving across the company? Don't forget to watch my last video on the fall of Fisker and what it has to do with Tesla. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.